first step to do to put the suspension on, you got to take the old axle and wheels off. So what I, the way I do that is I set the cart upside down, just like so. So I'm going to take the wheels off first. I'll pull the axle off. I've got the weight of my suspension down to between 24 and 25 pounds. You need to move the suspension ahead in order to balance the cart. And I would say to move it ahead about, oh, the two, two and a half inch mark. So my end of my tape is on where the other axle was centered. And you see two and a half inches is about the edge of this piece of pipe. So I'm gonna line my suspension up on there like that. And that is where I want that to be. Okay. Okay, so I've lined this up where I want it to be and I'm going to drill a hole down through the frame of the cart. I've drilled the first hole through and I'm going to put a bolt in through that hole. Snug that up, and then I'm going to drill the other side. Now, before I do this other side, I'm going to measure here. That's nine, a um, little over an eighth there. And this is nine, a little over an eighth there. And then I'll drill this side through. Okay, I've drilled the four holes and put the four bolts in and tightened them down for the suspension. And then after you do that, then you can tighten up these bolts that we've started in to join the two halves of the suspension together. To snug them all down. Okay, so after tightening the bolts up, we put our wheels back on. Now when I build the suspensions, I make the axles, the spindles on here to match up with whatever width of hub you have. And you want this to be snug, but not creating drag. So you see that rolls pretty free, and there's no slop or play in it. I'll just make a note here, these tires I've had the tubes, pneumatic tubes replaced with inserts. As you can see, there's no valve stems in these tires, so there's some kind of a foam insert in there. With a nice little tire, I think these should work pretty good. You won't go flat, obviously. Okay, so there, we have our bolt-on suspension on. I'll flip the cart back over. So, and there we have it. Now this particular case, the cart is the same height as it was before and we're, well it might be even just a little bit lower which is good because this is a pretty short horse that's going in this cart and we're doing more modifications to this cart which will be in further videos.